In its day, the Stony Creek Puppet House delighted audiences from silent movies to puppet shows and live theater. But in recent years, the theater was closed and in danger of being destroyed or repurposed. But thanks to the vision of two women and the support of many, it will be home to the Legacy Theater. Here to fill us in on the renovations are co founders Keely Baisden Knudsen and Stephanie Stiefel Williams. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Uh, Keely, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, well, I went to NYU, to New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, for my undergrad. Um, and after I was finished there, I went on to get my master's in Scotland at the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama. Um, and I got acting degrees at both places. And then I uh, toured um, for a while in, in acting in musical theater and straight plays and uh, new works. And then I went on to choreograph and direct, as well as teach. And I teach at, at several of the universities in, in this area as well. Very good. And Stephanie, tell us about yours. Well, uh, I don't have the pedigree that Keely has, <laughs> but I have um, always been performing since I was a teenager and semi-professional in professional theaters. And Keely and I started working together about 10 years ago. And uh, my, my background is really mostly musical theater and sure. some opera. Um, so where did the idea come from to renovate the theater? Well, we had decided a couple of years ago through Keeley's vision okay. um, that this would be a great area to have a performing center, a repertory theater, and a professional organization. And so we had done a feasibility study, and we discovered that the area east of New Haven along the shoreline would mm -hmm. be a perfect location. And it was that happy coincidence that the Stony Creek Puppet House was available. Very good. Now, Keely, what is the uh, vision, I suppose, for the theater? once it's up and running? Well, we have a repertory company. So there are professional actors in the Legacy Theater that will rotate amongst the musicals and the straight plays and the new works. Um, and then we'll also be artist teachers. Mm -hmm. So it's a conservatory as well as a professional company. And we'll be a, a presenting as well as a producing house. So it won't just be Legacy up and doing, you know, our five shows a season, mm -hmm. um, but also, you know, inviting others to come and, and share this, this community resource. Right, we just had a picture on the screen uh, that showed yes. the plans there. Uh, talk about the renovation process. For me. So the picture you saw was from um, artist Vladimir Spitalnik, who's a Brantford resident. He's extremely talented, and he's also a, a set designer as well. Um, and he took that picture based on a 1928 rendering. So as you know, the theater's been around since 1903, um, and then in the 20s, that's when it became a professional um, theater for live performance. Okay. And so there was a rendering that we found in the archives that had the same, you know, a similar um, front facade. So he made that rendering based on on that picture. Um, on the interior, we're going to keep the blueprint. It's mm -hmm. a registered historic landmark, so we can't go too crazy Got up it. or out. Um, but we're going to, to keep it the way it is, except to make it beautiful. I love inside. that. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie, I know um, this weekend you're holding the Legacy for Tomorrow Gala. Give us the details. Well, it's being held at the Pine Orchard uh, Golf and Country Club in Brantford. It starts at 6.30. There are some seats still available, and we would love to be able to fill to capacity. And um, tickets are $125, and uh, everything that we make will be matched by an anonymous donor oh, up great. to $50,000. So we're really hoping to, to approach that number. Sounds fantastic. It's been amazing to be able to, to raise the funds to get to a purchase price. And we did that several months before our target deadline. We had a year to do due diligence or to raise funds for this um, theater. And so now we're going into the scala saying, OK, now we need to raise funds to restore the theater, not just purchase the theater. So it's a very exciting time. There's a lot of buzz and a lot of great momentum moving forward. Sounds fantastic. And when do you expect to open? We're hoping sometime in 2014. Okay. Contingent, of course, on fundraising, <laughs> but um, but we're very optimistic, and we can do things in phases too. Sounds great. So if we're looking at having, you know, the pie in the sky um, <laughs> goal for fundraising, we can really we can phase it out so that hopefully we'll have an opening in the year 2014 and, and build from there. Very good. All right, Keely, Stephanie, best of luck to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. We'll be right back.